5.30. So I'll call the meeting to order at 5.30. <coughs> Seeing no guests, I'll ask are there any agenda revisions? Hearing none, any public comments or correspondence? Hearing none, we have Looking. So on 318, we approved the minutes. We did not approve the minutes for 35. No, nope. I saw that. I skipped it. I don't think those, we, those are the ones we just signed. Right. Okay. So, so I don't really think we have to approve those. Movie. I think but, that's um, okay. I would I would take a motion as a slate to approve the minutes of all those. So moved. In a second. I'll second. Discussion. So anything you've noticed in any of them? Sorry. Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Discussion of Act 46. Is in that floor usually gives us a report Wait, what, on Does the it transition act? board have anything to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not on the transition. Yeah, oh. <laughs> we haven't, we got, we met, except after the <coughs> meeting. And that was to get everybody on board. So I don't okay. really have a report. Yeah. Other than the vote and who's running was in the paper. So. Just the two of you. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, just you and four? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, Something was, a, friend, a guy I work with mentioned that he had heard something on WDEV this morning from Callis. Does anybody, did anybody hear? They're you? having their, their town meeting, their school district meeting tomorrow to approve uh, or consider those easement and the school use policy. Mm -hmm. and, okay, yeah. 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 thank yeah. you. So I'm just assuming it was just a. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I was. Front yeah. porch forum. Uh, they did have a thing about oh, what it is tomorrow night on, on the Callis front porch forum. The only thing I'll add was I looked today to see if I could find anything. And there was a Vermont Digger article from the end of last week where they talked to the joint committee that's trying to resolve the differences between the House and the Senate. And the, the gist that I pulled from the report is it had four or five meetings and hadn't resolved anything. <clears throat> it, it seemed from the report that the Senate still has their basic stance in the house has their basic stance and they haven't made much progress so okay reports to the board um typically uh, we don't really get a report unless we had questions but um if it's appropriate i'd ask alicia to you know, perhaps at least talk about the uh, four one and four two administration yeah, I'm happy to. Um, um, so there's, you have a superintendent's report from Bill, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if there's anything in there you wanted to, and then the director's report, which was basically just all the assessments that are coming up. And the, the superintendent's report's the same one we that you got, got in our March. Time. I yeah. thought so. Uh, yeah. Um, it does talk about some of the costs that they're incurring for Act mm -hmm. 46 merger mm -hmm. work. But it's pretty self yeah. pretty self explanatory. I don't know if there's any questions around on my report. We hit the ground running today after break. <laughs> it's like as soon as April break is over, it's the mad dash to the end of the year. Right. A nine week. I was gonna say nine week. Nine yeah. week. Yeah. It's not a dash anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, true. Although it feels like it. Mm -hmm, so it we're we are working. We're finishing up configurations for next year. Um, something I can give you an update on that's not in here. We have right now only 17 kindergartners coming in. We have a small, a very small group coming up. Um, and then next year, the year after is kindergarten. Our next year's four year olds. It's another healthy size two classrooms so we're working on configurations right now um trying to figure out with that small crew coming up that we know of you may have seen it in front porch form a couple of times like if you have a five-year-old right. please let us know 
I feel like we know a lot more with Act 166 with universal pre-K because we pay for mm -hmm. kids to go. And a lot of parents use that, but I've heard from nobody. So unless we have that influx in July, which has happened once before, um, we'll most likely only have one kindergarten. Is 17 an upper number for one? Or no, it's a fine or? number for one. Yeah, yeah. The, we, we met, we've met multiple times, like what is the cutoff for K? Yeah. Um, and I think teachers are feeling like anything more than 22 is too many. Okay. You know, I mean, that's a very that's large a current, yeah. current, but two classes of eight or nine, that's not good. too not, few. Right. Yeah. So, um, but we also have had a number of children move in in second and third grade this year, like a lot. Um, so those numbers have gone up, so we're looking at just shifting a teacher to accommodate, because right now, um, in second and third grades, we have like 22, 23 kids in a class, and that's a lot for, um, especially with some of the needs we have in those grades. So this week, the hope is to kind of finalize what configurations will look like. Um, we know there will most likely be at least one or two multi-age classrooms, just because of the strange numbers. Um, and then the next step will be placing teachers in those classrooms, and then we'll ask parents for feedback or input into placement, uh, and then place students, and then um, finalize the schedule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I tell parents you cannot Let's have to keep our roles completely separate. <laughs> <laughs> we don't I'm do teacher shopping, around. but um, so that's kind of where we're at. <clears throat> I don't know if there were any other questions. Did about. Ashley name the baby yet? Yes, Ella Rose. Thank you. Oh. I, I went and heard. visited them on Saturday. And little Enzo, so Mike, so Mike Blanchard, the PE teacher, had they had their baby on Monday. Ted and Ashley had their baby on Friday, right before break. And I've met them both, and they're both beautiful and all doing well. Yes. Yeah. yeah my baby was in the parking lot tonight. Oh, again? Yeah. yeah. He's been a few times. Yeah. I think it does. I was rushing out to drop Smith off. So. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. Anything cool. else in the principal's report? I'm just looking if there's any other. We're gearing up for SBACs that will start next week. I think that's about it for me. Anybody with any questions? <laughs> um, I do have, just so, to give you another heads up, um, I have two ESP, so ESP contracts have not come out yet, teacher contracts have, but I have two ESP who will not be returning next year that I'll let you know about at the next board meeting. Then if you turn to page 13, Alicia, could you talk about yep. the fiscal? This has not changed at all since you last saw it. So Lori has been doing um, kind of a fall, winter, and will be a spring update. We closed down, we had teachers kind of finalize all of their ordering and everything before April break. Um, I don't think it will look a whole lot different from this, but we haven't, Lori has not updated anything. It'll probably be another month before you see a change in this. So we're significantly over our 4%. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and probably will end the year that way. And a lot, um, quite a bit of it has to do with the hype. So we had some retired, some teachers retired, and those that we hired were less expensive and similar to where we were a year ago. Any questions around the financials? I think it's fair to say, and Bill's not here, but um, I think. For the executive committee, I think their work is is consumed by the interim superintendent yeah, search. Okay. That's pretty much what they're doing. And is it at a point of people applying yet? Yes. Yeah, they they're going to have. Uh, they were there was just talk today of trying to have an ex executive committee meeting on. I don't remember the day. May second or third. The there's third is the deadline. There's already a meeting scheduled early in May. Oh, transition board schedule in the first week of May. Yeah, we just got. And it. so executive committee is looking to 
uh, Matthew just sent a request around to see if they could meet before the transition board meeting right. um, to provide an update on uh, where everything's at. Um, <clears throat> I can say three members of the executive board met with a leadership team a few weeks ago. Um, Matthew Floor and John Blank from Callis. Dorothy? Yes, thank you. Um, they met with us a few weeks ago, and tomorrow we're meeting again with Mark Andrews, who's leading the search. That was in the executive? That was in one of the executive yes, committee sir. minutes. Yeah. I, I think it's, and you can read the minutes, it's fair to say, and, and mm -hmm. appropriately so. I think that's where they're concentrating their time mm -hmm. and efforts. Uh, anything on either one of the other? Or on 4 4 or 4 5? Policy or school quality? I think there's. Policy hasn't met. Negotiation committee, I'll just, well, I could talk now. I mean, we're going to vote 5.2. For the ESP contract, but it, I can't go into specifics other than what the contract is. But uh, negotiations, I, I can say, were as it is with the teacher negotiations. They're they're very um, um, respectful <coughs> discussions and um, went very well. The whole ESP took one evening. So, and that was it. <clears throat> the, there's no specific in here. Oh, do you have the specifics of that? The the no, I haven't okay. seen it. When we get to the action, I'll share. I think I can remember everything. I remember the key ones. I have not seen them. So to move to the action agenda, Approved expenditure for of paving for capital fund. Alicia, do you have any sure. information? Sure. Yeah. Um, so this is. I brought it up <coughs> over the winter because it was getting unsafe, um, and it's worse now. But it's the. So if you go out the back of the building, we have that graph, which you all remember we had mm -hmm. to do. Um, so we got a um, a quote from the people who had done <coughs> paving for us before Green Mountain Paving because it's under um, fifteen thousand. We didn't need to go out to bid for this, but um, the total cost for the for all of the sidewalks all the way around back to the front of the building near the music room is thirteen thousand. I felt like it would be appropriate for this to come from capital rather than mm -hmm. try to find it. No, I think that makes sense because um, we're over anyway in our capital. Um, so I would ask that um, you would approve that. That we have had them come back and take a look at it. The nice thing is, is it's, it's compacted down pretty well, so they don't have to do much other than get the grass out of it um, and get take those out metal those, things out. Yeah, very unsafe metal. Um, their their hope is to start the day after we get out of school okay. and just have it done. Cool. I know we didn't have to send it to bid, but was there any discussions with any other companies? No. We did kind of talk about concrete, right? And that was well, yeah, we did. We did bid. The, yes, we did look at which would be um, because some thought it would be more aesthetically pleasing to have it match our sidewalks, but it is not. The cost was very prohibitive. Um, so yeah, they have done. They have done paving for us here. We did our basketball courts, and we've been happy with their work. Any questions? I would, I have a motion. I would make a motion to approve um, expending thirteen thousand dollars from capital for paving. I'll second it. Discussion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Abstentions. <coughs> Thank you. Five point two. Uh, approve ESP contract. Um, so the key points. Our uh, salary was a 3.5% increase, and um, health benefits went from 78.82 to 80.20. Um, Can you repeat the 80 to 80.20? 80.20. Oh no, that was already mm -hmm. that's already been approved. Um, 
that was negotiated at the same time as the teachers, so that that went. But it is. That's it, what's in 80, this contract. It's 80, yeah, it's 80-20. Um, and as as a reminder, even though we went 80-20, um, cost to the districts is neutral. We even though we went 80-20, we really didn't gain any additional savings because we eliminated the um, deductible. There was a $250 deductible for single and I think it was 500 for family. Um, <clears throat> so that financially had some more money, but the feeling was we were still gonna net out some gain because eliminating the deductible saved the SU office a fair amount of time of having to administer it. Um, so uh, there was a feeling there would be some net financial gain from that. And in uh, the associations both um, had a lot of dissatisfaction on the, not the SU's fault, but you know from the way everything was administered. So to get rid of the deductible for them was um, something they really wanted. Um, and then, there, I won't remember the contract language, but it, it was there were two or three items that were just language changes within the contract. I, I, I'll use one for example that I can remember. It, in the contract, it still referred to um, um, civil. Um, oh, civil unions. Civil unions. So that term was still in the contract. So it was the the wording changes were just wording changes like that that you know it, it just needed to be updated. So there was some of that that was non-contentious. It was just um, both groups understood it and just uh, they passed. Um, the changes that would be of more significance um, right now. Um, ESPs go under the I won't get the language right there's a um, retirement policy that's currently used <clears throat> and there's also a municipal retirement policy and currently our uh, ESPs that are in the in the association use um, the non-municipal one. It's, it's, it's run by RSU, if I remember correctly. And what they wanted to be able to do, <clears throat> a lot of the newer members preferred the municipal retirement fund for the options that it had. Um, there was a cost, we a maximum cost that we estimated at about $10,000 if people were gonna switch, and it was a one time, if they were gonna switch. Um, and then there were some uh, some nuances of the policies. So current employees could elect to stay in the one they're currently in. If they wanted to opt into the municipal, they can, but the language of the municipal is if you opt into it, then you're in it. And there's no like flip-flopping back and forth. Um, so it was a, a relatively minor risk to the uh, to the districts, so we um, supported that. And then there's also a provision that's going to allow ESPs to get issued a the what, behavior intervention. No, what what's the computers that. Oh, the Chromebook. The Chromebook. So ESPs will now be um, provided a Chromebook. I mean, it won't be given to them, but yeah. um, they'll be assigned a Chromebook. And and that cost wasn't significant yeah. to do that either. Um, but, you know, they made a very compelling argument that mm -hmm. they get their emails and all the communications are <laughs> electronic and they don't have an office and they don't have a desk with a computer. Right. So. Um, so those were the uh, significant changes. 
but similar to the teacher one because it's only a one-year contract there, there wasn't a lot of discussion about multiple areas and, and the, the areas that the, there was an agreement both sides were pretty was handled really quickly nice but the the just the, I mean the key thing is that it's a 3.5 percent pay increase um, <clears throat> I will say we went the last uh, negotiated contract the ESPs had a bigger raise than um, excuse me mm -hmm. than the regular um, than the association did <coughs> and it has a lot to do with minimum wage mm -hmm. so the lower paid um, um, members in the ESP contract there was concern if it wasn't at, uh, at least uh, you know in the 3.5 range we might find ourselves in violation of not paying minimal wage for because the minimum wage is going up mm -hmm. so we wanted to make sure we um, provided for that so it's a 3.5 does that answer does that provide enough but I think if the motion is made to approve it I'll make it I don't care approve the ESP contract for academic year 2019-20 as negotiated by the negotiated committee and if I could have a second to that motion I'll second it <coughs> in any discussion for me Yep, do you have the agenda? I do. Yeah. So it's 5.2 word for word. Okay. I was not feeling particularly creative. <laughs> you all set? Yes. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? <coughs> Can I have a motion for the board orders? I would make a motion that we approve the board order in the amount of $52,979.39. I'll second that. Discussion. Did you say it slow enough that she heard you? <laughs> did, did you get that? Yeah, I okay. <laughs> 52979 Good. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Um, future agenda items. I think we only have one more meeting mm -hmm. May. on slate. So, if if I mean we're moving quickly, so I, I don't mind. Let, if you want to take a minute or two to just think, yeah, it's it, it's quite possibly our last meeting ever. So, is there something it's the that day we want? The vote. Yeah, we want to make sure. Uh -huh. We want to make sure that we talk about or know about or see about. You know, me is the one that is always the stick in the mud for presentations, but maybe do we want to look for some kind of student or staff Things will be crazy. opportunity? I think, but... opportun I, I... So I can tell you, we have been um, teach. So with every administration of our STAR 360 and reading and writing assessments, teachers have been looking at that data and then setting goals before the next. So I'd be happy to share kind of a overall how this year has gone because we set we we set goals in the fall and by the time we meet we'll be i'm thinking at least around the window of the final administration of those i'd be happy to kind of give you a it won't be a huge elaborate i'm thinking it won't i honestly don't know because we usually do a spring monitoring report but it's not been mentioned yet but i'd be happy to do a version of that for you Regardless, would people be interested in that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It would be good. At least it would get it in the minutes. And you'd have so some if, closure if to the we weren't of... continuing, then those yeah. minutes could go forward, and yeah. there would be a record mm -hmm. of it. Anything else? So just some logistics. So obviously <laughs> we would meet then, and then again at the end of the year to approve the audit. Right. Cool. Will we be even anybody oh, after in December? You mean May twenty first? The end of. You have we're to still stay the responsible body December for the audit. Okay. Because the audit is looking back to this okay. year. Yeah. So after May, that would conceivably be one more meeting. Yeah. And then. Is well, there has to be one more. May twentieth. Is what I have down. That's the third. One. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, if the legislature does not do anything and we do not, or 
if they do do something. Well, if there's a delay, then we could be a school board running everything just like we are now for another year. Right. Um, and, and I we assume we have the, pr pr the proposed schedule for that if we have meetings. Do we? Or Otherwise, yeah, we just got another updated from thing. Bill. No, yeah, I guess definitely. I meant for our, our meetings. So we. So I would think we would just go on our same schedule, so we, yeah. we do one more in but, June. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah. that was my question. Yeah, we, we, we think we just got that after the organization meeting. We, we've done this. Do yeah. yeah. But you didn't. So if we need to, we'll just. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to. When you met in March, you did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Well, we, I mean, we'll have to wait till May and okay. see. Mm -hmm. So, do we not need to meet in June? There's an early June meeting, full board, like the fifth or something. Oh, I just okay. pulled up her draft. Um, was, it, was it from Chris? Carousel, June fifth. Yeah. So we okay. So we. Oh, so we'd be that. meeting that day too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just. Yeah. I thought no, we would have to meet at least twice more. I'm out of touch. So. Good to mm -hmm. be. I think it's twice more. Once more here, once in June over there. And then switch over. Okay. I'm just looking at my calendar, June 5th. Yeah, I'm at a conference out of state, so I won't be there for okay. that carousel meeting. June 5th. But any other agenda items? No. We'll ask Alicia to make that presentation. Yep, I'd be happy to do and that. And I think, I think we all clearly understood that it will be what it is. It, well, it won't you'll be terrible, you'll, but. you'll present what you've got yes. at the time. Um, the other thing Bill wanted me to mention <clears throat> is at the next meeting it will be non-bargaining contracts. That's the last to come. Mm. And I think that is it. And then I, I'll let you know of any retirements or um, resignations because they're all due back before then. Yeah. When okay. are they due back? Um, so teachers are due back, I think it's May 11th or 12th. Oh, late. Yeah, they were delivered like April, right before break. Um, I think they were the 11th here. They negotiated a late, I think we negotiated that with the association that they were coming later this year because of all the votes and budget confusion and all yeah. that stuff. So those are all coming back now and then now after this, the ESP will go out and they'll have the same time frame. Mm -hmm. Any board communications? Hearing none, uh, we'll adjourn at 5.57. Yep. I just have a question, and it's fine that it's over. How did it go in here for Celebration of Learning? Did you have many come? No, no well, I was here. When I left and Darcy came in, there were I took over. three or four people came in right away as soon as I left. <laughs> So there we, were, we just had one or two. Anybody that weren't at, from school, just outsiders? No. Well, well our yes. Town, that we had two town, town meeting we thing. Had two we had town, <laughs> two community members. There were two that was, on night? That was, that was that our town meeting That was not the celebration of wedding no. night, though. Oh, that was the one before right. that. Yeah. And, and that was two? Bruce, Bruce and Don from the town office came okay. and one that was got. That was the Saturday? No, that no, no that was the Tuesday, Tuesday vote. That Tuesday. Oh, the, mon the Monday night before the Tuesday. Oh, that, oh no, you the Tuesday came together night that night of the vote. You yeah. had two. to. And there were only two. Yeah. So one got elected moderator and the other one made all the motions. <laughs> well, and I think they were pretty clear that they pretty much came because they weren't sure anyone was going to come were. anyway, mm -hmm. so they wanted to make sure. Yeah. I mean, it was identical to what was presented yes. at the right. Right. town meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Go and enjoy the beautiful evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.